There's one thing I forgot to mention is how really big Game Two's heart is. How much pain and agony he was going through. And I called him and said I'd done a score interview the night before. He said, send me the link, I'll watch it, and I'll call you back. He watched it. He called me back. It was about 11 o'clock at night. And he said it was the best interview he ever heard. It was exceptional. He loved it. He loved the score interview. I said, why don't you write a comment? You've got a YouTube channel. And he said, I can't. I said, why can't you? You're his partner, KO. You drifted off from me and went to score. We've done 20 years of inside bombing. Bombing trains non-stop every day when everyone quit. On every train. Going to Icy. And... This is too hard, this is... Anyway... As I didn't know it, but I found out the next day the reason why Gain didn't write a comment because when he got off the phone to me he rang him for an ambulance and he got taken to hospital and he died 5am the next day well they kept him alive until 5am the next day the fucking pricks So that's why he couldn't write a comment. But how much pain and agony he was in, he still watched the score interview and rang me back. Big heart. A king heart. No treacherous acts there. Anyway, God bless him. And God bless everyone that went to his funeral. And everyone said a prayer for him. God bless you all. He had a beautiful send-off. That's how Sydney does it. For kings, K.
Kings only going to peace my brother